What is going to be the news on Travis Fulgham going into the 2021 season with one year left on his contract? Travis Fulgham was just such a surprise that came out of nowhere. And this usually happens at the end of every single year. I think at the end of 2019, we saw Greg Ward was like the rising star of this offense when we had nobody. And then when you look at coming into this year, this is a guy that's been to a couple teams. Um... And we just picked him up on a cheap contract, and look what he's done. I mean, over 500 yards receiving, over 500 yards receiving, 14.2 yards per reception, and a 42-yarder for his longest with four touchdowns. Travis Fulgham probably would have had a little bit of a better season. Now, I understand it was a little bit of a – it was crazy, but just imagine if they, you know, once they put Jalen Hurts in the game and what Travis Fulgham could have could have really done more but with Alshon Jeffrey and Deshaun Jackson coming back you know Doug always talking about it's not about one person not about one player and and it has been these veterans have been over these young receivers and Travis Fulgham we don't even know the ceiling that he has we really don't we don't know the ceiling that he has and he's got a lot to prove going to 2021 big competition I hope we have some preseason games we're not just practicing against ourselves with two scrimmages at Lincoln Financial Field but Travis Fulgham Wow. You know, after week four, it was only a few weeks. And then, you know what? Later on, when guys were getting healthy, put him back to the bench. And he was coming in like once in a while on some plays. But this raw receiver group has so much more to offer. And I, I don't think it's even hit his ceiling yet. This receiver group hasn't hit its ceiling yet because of what Howie and what Doug has done with this roster. Whether it's Doug Peterson on his game day decisions of who's coming into games and how Rose been building this roster in this offseason. We always get those gem guys at the end of the year that really step up. But significantly early, we saw Travis Holcomb do some good things. Good body posture, good tracking of the football. It doesn't look like the fastest guy out there, but he's smart with his route running. He's got really good hands. And... If you throw it up to him, he will go up and grab it. Um, I was, I mean, I was on the Travis Holcomb train. I mean, I was really, really happy. You know what? The, and you know what? And he never, and it never really phased him. You know, like he just kept playing. Like it didn't get to his head. He didn't. You know, the fame wasn't getting to. You know, the fame. You know, you play as a nobody in the NFL. If you start playing really well, the eyes start. You know, you start getting a lot of attention, and it just seemed like not to. It seemed like it really didn't bother Travis Fulgham at all. Like, he just was having fun. He was playing. And that was really it. Um, you know, Travis Fulgham is one of the most underrated guy, wide receivers we have on this roster right now. On top of guys like John Hightower and Quez Watkins. And obviously drafting Jalen Rager that has so much more to prove. I think all these receivers have a higher ceiling than what they were capable of um, this past year. Because these... Uh, Doug Pearson and Press Taylor and, and the, this offense of Skeeb that they had going just it didn't use the players to their strengths and I gotta really say like Travis Fulgham like I'm I know I know guys have already gotten his jersey last year so I mean I really want Travis Fulgham to work out I wouldn't mind giving him a deal after this year I know Greg Ward is a free agent uh, so obviously that was uh, one of the premier targets here for 2020 and 2019 at the end of the year um, but Travis Fulgham is is not far off from being could have had close to a thousand yards this year if you know all said and done would have had more than a few you know would have had probably I'd say eight to ten touchdowns this year if he would have stayed in games and done some good things so he came in later in the year on a couple plays you know I think he missed I think he dropped one ball or something like that but this is what happens when you just bench a guy because of two guys like Deshaun Jackson, Alshon Jeffrey, guys that have been injured nonstop every single year, and this is what happens. Your young guys are sitting on the bench, and now this is what you deal with, and this is the kind of season that you have. <clears throat> Obviously, with Doug Pearson, his predicted play, going, uh, predicted play calling, our quarterback play, so much has gone into it, but I'm telling you, like, Everyone says scream everyone's screaming that we need receivers so badly. I understand that, but we really don't know what we have here. Like I think this receiver group has so much more to show. 
And I think Nick Sirianni and our offensive coordinator, Shane Steckin, is really going to show what this offense is capable of and what they, these guys can bring to the table. Thank God that the Eagles actually have an offensive line and, you know, will have some protection. And, you know, obviously injuries are a whole other aspect of everything, which we can't get over as of right now. But Travis Fulgham has a high ceiling, as well as these other receivers, and could do so much more. Um, I don't know what you guys think about Travis Fulgham, but I think um, he's due for a very good year. If he beats, you know, whoever out of their spot, out of their job, um, I can't wait to see the competition in camp. I can't wait to see what he's going to bring to the table this year because he's got a really big future here. If he pulls something off and really and the coaches do the right thing by him and these other players, I'm telling you right now, it's, it's going to be something special. And uh, I understand it's not... It's not something you you really want to go in this first round of the draft. You want to get these you know top receivers. I understand that, but it might not even happen, guys. I mean, you find the more hungry guys in the fourth to the f- uh, fifth, sixth rounds. Like Quez Watkins, I think he's I think he brings a lot to this offense with his speed, his legs. You know, after seeing that little wide receiver screen, to, you know, spinning around and going upfield, beating the whole entire defense. There's a lot of good things to take out of it, but not just speaking of him, but this whole receiver group in general, general, like I've been talking about in this video, um, Fulgham would have did a lot better, would have done a lot better this year. Um, unfortunately, with just dysfunctional front office, coaching staff, just things not working out and not panning out. Eagles panic. They put in their starters that, that you know have been injured for a while, and they tried to make it work. Um, it did not work. So Travis Fulgham, I'm ready to see what he brings to the table in 2021. Very excited. Let me know what you guys think about Travis Fulgham going into this year and just the ceiling of this wide receiver core. I want to see comments about just the comp, just the, just the future of this wide receiver core, just what we have right now. Don't go into the draft. Don't talk about the draft. I want to hear from all of you guys what you guys think about what we have with some of these guys right now um, on this roster and what they can bring to the table this year. So let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys later. Shake squad up. Follow slide. Peace out, guys. Peace.